Yes, as you can see, my little collection of uh, Miller, Miller Junior Engineer SE100s has now increased by yet another one. And this fine, beautiful little specimen here arrived today. Um, and um, there's a reason <laughs> in this, <laughs> behind this so-called somewhat seemingly mad uh, compulsion to buy these Miller Junior Engineer SE100s. Um, as you know, the very first one I had, I had to replace the heater on. The heater didn't work, and I only had the parts to configure it as the beam engine, which you see there. Then my friend Stuart Owens very kindly sent me this one, which has a working heater in the in 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 the in the boiler, but it was missing a lot of parts. So I had to make the uh, uh, beam and the con rod, uh, but that now work, that one works fine. Then I recently acquired this one which uh, had all the parts necessary so that I could figure it could configure it in any of the three different um, configurations that you can you can configure these in and that again has a working heater and works fine and today this lovely example arrived which um, this one is, is is superb again has all the parts so you can f configure it in in any um, any of the three uh, configurations so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove one of them so that we just have three remaining. Okay, here's the three remaining engines. Now, this one is configured in configuration number one, which is the beam engine. This one is con configuration number two, which is the horizontal engine. And this one is configuration number three, which is the vertical engine. Now, what I'm hoping to do, if it will work, is I'm hoping to get all three of them under steam at the same time. Um, and that's why I wanted so many of these, so that I can have one in each configuration. I can have them all running under steam at the same time. So let's see if we can get make that happen. Well, in a slight change of plan, <coughs> I was originally going to use the first Miller Junior SE100, which I had, which uh, um, I replaced the heater element on, which which would have been this one. However, uh, when I am um, went to use it, <laughs> it had sprung a leak, almost certainly from my my heater repair. <coughs> So now we've got the uh, engine that uh, my good friend Stuart Owens uh, gave to me uh, and I've swapped out a few parts. Um, it, th this one had the beam that I'd made and the conrod. So I've swapped the beam and the conrod and piston and cylinder from <coughs> the first one so that they all they all are all using the same parts. Um, but um, other than that, we're all ready to go. Uh, there's hot water in the boilers, the heaters are on. They've, these all have all got the original carbon block heating elements in them. So we'll take a little while for them to, to, to get up to any kind of pressure. But I'm hoping that we will have them all running at exactly the same time. So stay tuned. Right, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, there we go, look at that. All three engines running under their own steam. Well, this one is almost running under its own steam. The other nice thing is that it, these have got the original heating elements in them, in these boilers. So that's just um, brilliant from my po po point of view. Um, actually, the actual steam is being generated by the original heaters in each boiler. Um, I'm not quite sure why our centre one here is not quite um, running as well as the others, but it is just about running. So oh, I think it might be picking up a bit. Yeah, I think it's picking up a bit. I mean, this is what I wanted to achieve. When I first got one of these engines, I wanted to have them all running together, one in each configuration. So this is configuration number one, beam engine, configuration number two, the horizontal engine, configuration number three, the vertical engine. And, uh, you know, we've, we've actually finally got there. Um, so um, I'm sure you will all breathe a great big sigh of relief to know that my um, uh, obsession with the engine is, is now over. <laughs> <laughs> this will be it but it is nice to see them all running and I still think that this is an absolutely brilliant concept and I'm really surprised that other manufacturers didn't do something like this because um, you know it just makes the engine uh, far more interesting and as a toy to children it, you know the fact that you can take it all apart like a Meccano set or a Rector set in the States and uh, put it all back together again in, in a completely different format and still have a working steam engine and these were quite these are quite easy to take apart you know it, it, nice brass screws and fittings and it and it and it all comes apart quite easily you know so anyway there you go 
the Miller Junior Engineer SE100, three of them, one in each type of configuration, all running under their own steam pressure at the same time. Which is something I've been wanting to achieve for some time. But uh, they are quite quite impressive, quite impressive that engine, and um, and also the the unique the uniqueness of the heater, the twin carbon blocks, is that they're perfectly safe because if the water boils dry, the carbon blocks simply conduct stop conducting, so there's no danger of fire or or anything like that. It, it was um, it was one of the safety features that was touted by the by the uh, the manufacturers. Um, And, and and quite a good one too. Um, and also this this um, whatever this is made of this the, the boiler you know not being metal means that it's never gonna uh, rust, or corrode, and should last forever basically. Um, anyway, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for putting up with me through my little journey with the uh, Miller Junior S. Engineer SE100 um, and I assure you there will be no more videos uh, about this engine <laughs> so you can all breathe a big sigh of relief. Anyway thanks for watching. <laughs>